Well, Liam, how are you? How are you and the boys feeling going into the, the proper business, which of course starts this weekend? Yeah, um, good. We've uh, had a, a good little break. Um, we've been back. We've been working hard in pre-season. Some really hard days. Um, character and team building, which we need. Uh, it's always a good time in pre-season to do that to put the to put the miles in, which uh, has been good for the whole group. So yeah, no, it's been good. A uh, couple of friendlies as well that we've got the minutes in. So no, all, all geared up and looking forward to Saturday. How important is it that the, the team get off to a positive start this season? Because obviously they didn't get out of the group last season and I guess this stage of this competition can perhaps set the tone for the rest of the season. No, you're spot on. Um, we're looking at this uh, this group as obviously uh, one to win. Um, for momentum it's really important as well. Like you say, get off to a good start and hopefully take that into the, the league campaign. So, yep, we're all all, uh, all aware of uh, what's ahead of us and like you say, last year we obviously failed to get out of the group so we're, uh, we're looking to rectify that this, this time around. I remember speaking to you, I can't remember what game it was, it was in a post-match interview uh, at the end of last season, I think when Stephen had just come in uh, on an interim basis and I think it was, you were saying that you know you, you were in no doubt that, that he was somebody that had the qualities yeah. to go on and be a real success in management obviously now he's got the job and you've had a you know a, a longer period of time to, to work under him I mean, how optimistic are you about w what the the future could hold for St Johnson under his stewardship no absolutely um we finished the season really strong so that's where we're looking to take off at the start of the league cup and the league um Nothing's changed from from them last six games that the manager took over. Um, so yeah, we're we're all looking forward to it. We're all we're all enjoying his tenure, and hopefully we can we can get off to a good start. It's a big difference in terms of the way he approaches games to previous managers. Um, it's nothing nothing drastic to be fair. The, the previous managers I've worked under here have, have all been brilliant and all done incredible things for this football club. So he's obviously. Been with them, he's has probably rubbed off on him as well. So it's kind of just similar things to them. He's probably just not picked up a few things um, and just yeah, getting back to the the basics and, and implementing them into us and, and the work rate and the energy and just getting that real kind of St Johnson team spirit back. I think that's what's uh, been been a big factor. Did you do anything in pre season a bit different from from usual? Um, well, we didn't really need to do too much in terms of when he came in. He made he done his, his, his changes and we've obviously just carried that through so he made a lot of changes when he took over um, for them for them six games and then it's just been a case of just keep um, repeating them uh, through training and, and through uh, meetings and, and whatnot so nothing's changed drastically because we already made them changes which obviously gave us that, that last kind of period of success so we're just taking off from that really. Pre-season as tough as, as normal? Uh, he's, he's, He's um he's looked after us a little bit. It's been tough. There's been days where it's been yeah it's been grueling and and but that's what pre season's about. Like I said, it's it's team building, isn't it? Um, get a lot of hard running and but that's what it's about. It sets us up for the season. So no, it's been really good. We didn't get too too long a break, so it wasn't it wasn't crazy crazy hard. But no, we we had enough hard days to to set us up. So all in all, it's been a it's been a good pre season so far. That sort of St Johnson mentality that you spoke about, I mean, is that something that Stephen McLean has already brought back? Do you feel mm. Do you feel there's that feel-good factor back then? Yeah, for sure. Um, he's brought that back, obviously, now he's a manager, but it was the one that the, the manager was, was big on, and he was probably one of the players that implemented it the most through the dressing room as well. So now he's, now he's in charge, you kind of see it spread through even more. So... That's an important thing for us to get back to that. Um, that's what we're that's what we're best at. So, um, yeah, we are just training, training away, and, and looking at how we can get back to to where we were and, and what we're all about. So I think that's a he's the right man, and he's obviously getting us to do that. So, and you know, he spoke about his aims are basically to win games. Is he instilling that winning mentality in the players? Do you feel? Yeah, of course, but the players as well. Everyone wants to win. <clears throat> so just with him helping us and guiding us it's going to it's going to help things but every player in that dressing room they want to turn up no matter who we're playing against and they want three points we want to play as well as we can and we want to compete we want to fight we want to do that for this club so um obviously under the manager he's big on that as well and yeah hopefully it just it's just going through the whole building and uh, hopefully it's going to give, give us a successful uh, season ahead thank you James. you know Liam the turnaround between you know the end of the season and the start of the season just seems to keep getting shorter and shorter you know how do you find it as a player 
the season ends and then basically you know you blink and then you're back into pre-season training. No, it does feel shorter and shorter. You're right. Um, but yeah, listen, it's it's one of those things where it is a short break. But this is we do this job for a reason because because we love it. So we can't complain too much. I think you look down maybe at some of the guys down in England and they're playing 60, 70 games a season. So we're not too hard done by up here. Um, and listen, the break probably came at a bad time for us. We'd have rather continued going uh, with the, the form and the momentum that we had. So I think the majority of the boys were just looking forward to getting back in and, and getting the, the ball rolling again. So no, we're looking forward to it. And you know, as you mentioned, there, you know, just how much are you looking forward to the Stenhouse Muir game at the weekend, and how prepared do you feel going into this League Cup campaign to start the, the competitive action? Yeah, of course, we're all looking forward to it, and I think the the main reason is because of last year's disappointment. Um, we're looking to, to rectify that and put put that behind us and get us uh, going for the the start of the league, and hopefully the the League Cup group stage can do that, get the momentum going, and get the feel good factor, get some good performances, get fit, and get ready for the the season. But uh, like you said, that's all going to start on Saturday, and we're looking forward to the, to the game. Great. Thank you.